lovelies. Okay, so by now, some of you have figured out what the day counting is and others haven't. And I've decided to start doing a weekly segment here on Fridays because Fridays tend to be the party days. And I thought that maybe if you could get some inspiration from me, that it might help you to make some life changes. Um, so today is day seven, actually day seven, not like yesterday was day seven and I'm filming it today. Today is actually day seven and it's Friday, October 14th. I have been sober for one full week. Um, I can't lie to you and tell you that it has been easy. Uh, being an addict and being an alcoholic, every time I've walked past an LCBO, I've told myself, just go in and buy a cider, you'll be fine, you'll be okay. And the reality of it is, is that I'm not. I am that person who has one drink and one drink turns into a $40 bottle. Um, and now listen, I am not doing these updates for attention. I'm doing these updates because I already have attention on me. I'm doing these updates because I have a platform and as everybody knows, I like to try to, you know, help when I can. And so if by seeing me fail and me fall helps you to not want to fail and fall, well then, so be it. Um, drug use and, and addiction has been a part of my family since I was a kid. Um, my mother was a huge pothead and when she wasn't smoking pot, she was smoking oil and when she wasn't smoking oil, she was smoking hash. Um, so it was, all, she never did hard drugs. Um, but it was always there. And I mean, my sister, my mother, everyone smoked cigarettes except for me, which is also a drug by the way. Um, uh, I noticed something though, back in the, uh, late eighties, night, early nineties when you know, when people started standing up against big tobacco companies talking about the fact that the advertising was wrong and, you know, you shouldn't be advertising this because it's killing people. I noticed that the moment that the advertising for smoking went down, the advertising for alcohol went up because as odd as it sounds, alcohol seems to be even more socially acceptable than smoking. But both are addictions. And so... I am and have always been um, an addict. And I don't mean an addict as in like a drug user, blah, 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 because we all know I've done that. But what I mean by addict is an addict behavior is anyone who, um, here, let's ask Siri. Hey Siri, what's the definition of an addict? Addict means a person who is addicted to a particular substance, typically an illegal drug, Right? So a particular substance, but substance can be anything. It can be food. It can be anything. So for me, my addiction is literally anything that makes me happy. Anything that helps me to escape feeling sad, I've become addicted to. Um, whether it's cooking or Instagram or YouTube, I am definitely an addict. Uh, so I thought that I would do these updates weekly and we would have open discussions about alcohol and some stuff that's happened. I'll tell you about a story once that happened to me a long, 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 long time ago uh, when I lived in Hamilton. I had drank so much. I had this incredible wig that had like curled under and like it was gorgeous, looked amazing on me. And I... um one night I got alcohol poisoning so bad that I threw up all the acid in my stomach and this wig, which had previously had curl in it, had actually straightened out completely. So the chemicals in my puke had caused this chemical synthetic wig to straighten out. That's how bad it was. I've had some other bad moments too and we're gonna talk about those going forward. I think that every week I am going to disclose a different thing that's happened to me or a different thing that I've done when I'm drunk. And listen, not everything that I've done when I'm drunk is sad. Like sometimes some things were really funny and, and that's fine. And you know, I'm not, asking you or telling anyone to stop drinking. If you want to drink and have a good time, then that's totally your choice. I am not here to judge anyone because trust, this glass house will come down quick. All right? So yeah, 
I'm not here to judge, I'm just here to talk. And I think that by having open, honest, uh, and frank discussions, whoever Frank is, uh, about <laughs> addiction and alcoholism and all of those other things, I think that it may help others to maybe come to terms with their own addictions and maybe come to terms with their own alcoholism and, you know, either change it or not change it. That's completely up to you. It's your choice. I'm just here to start a dialogue and that's it. And I am grateful to have the platform that I do to have these kinds of dialogues. Um, I love you all. If you're drinking, then drink. If you're sober, congratulations. Um, uh, let's take this journey together. This is seven days of sobriety, which were fairly hard. Like I said, every time I walk past the LCBO, and I realized that almost every show I watch, there's an alcoholic on it. And I'm like, Oh, it's so socially acceptable to drink that it, yeah. Yeah, I, I just, yeah. And like I said, I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to anything. I'm just here to talk about my journey and hopefully my journey inspires you. Whether it inspires you to go to the LCBO and grab another drink or whether it inspires you to go to the LCBO or go to the grocery store and buy some water or sober or be sober or whatever. I don't really care. Um, like I said, I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm just here to talk and I feel like talking really helps me and I feel like getting, um, Getting the feedback from all of you really helps me as well because it helps me to show that I am loved and I'm respected and that what I do, I do for a reason and I do it for you. Um, as always, <laughs> never, ever, 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 ever forget to comment down below. <laughs> Share it with your friends, family, and coworkers. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I love you all so very much. And I will catch you next Friday. Bye.